When working with larger projects, it can be difficult to keep track of all the files you are currently working with. PHPStorm solves this problem by letting you define a scope. We are currently looking at a Y2 project. Let's assume you start a task which involves modifying the user model. Let's find that model. So open up models and then user. Okay. As well as picking up the user model, you might want to open the test for it. Maybe you might want to open a controller too. So let's find our test, unit, models, user test. Now let's find our controller. So maybe you need the site controller. So now we have three files up and they are all from very different parts of our project. To keep track of these files, you can define a scope. So let's do this. We go to file, settings. You can just type scope in here. You can see mine's already highlighted. And what you can do is you can click the plus button and that shows you local and shared. Local will just be local to your copy of the project. A shared scope can be very useful. It will be shared with other team members via version control. It is stored in the idea folder of your project. So that's the PHP Storm folder. If you have this folder ignored, then this won't work. For now, let's create a local scope because that's all we need. I like to name it after whatever story or ticket I'm working on. So let's have it as ticket dash blah, blah, blah. There we go. Click OK. And now there's this new menu here for us. So we have the name. We have this pattern here. I'm not going to get into that. You can take a look at the JetBrains or PHPStorm documentation for it. But I'm going to show you a very simple scope. And let's do tests and unit models user test. We'll click include. We want that in our scope. Same with the user model. Click include. And same with our controller. So site controller include. And that's it. You've defined your scope. Let's click OK. You can view your scope in the project view here by clicking the drop down and clicking on your scope. So ticket, blah, blah, blah. And great. From that massive complex project tree, we now just have the three files that we're working with. So that's much easier, much clearer to work with. The scope you defined is global to PHP Storm. Other features will use it too. For example, the to do feature can be filtered by scope. So in the bottom here, we just go to to do, and you can see there's a bunch of to do's in the project, but it's actually not your stuff. It's, I guess, maybe with vendors or ye. So what you can do is you can click on the scope and use the drop down to find your scope. Here it is. And now there's no to do's, but of course, if there was, it'll pick it up right there. The inspection results can be filtered by scope too. So if we go to code and click on inspect code, we could do it by custom scope. So we can do ticket and click OK, and then we get our inspections. Thanks for watching, guys. Please hit that like and subscribe button.